Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your postnatal no equipment total body workout. So we will be working your entire body for both strength and cardio, and we won't need any equipment, just body weight moves. So this workout is for anybody in the postpartum period, whether you had your baby weeks ago or years ago, and I'm going to give you lots of different options even if you have diastasis recti, or you're recovering from a C-section, or you're just starting out, or if you're a little bit more advanced in your postpartum workout. You don't need any equipment for this workout. Please make sure that you have been cleared by your doctor for exercise before you do this or any other workout in the postpartum period. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. Just get marching, roll those shoulders to the back, front and then a couple big deep, deep breaths in and out so here's how it's gonna work every move that I give you I'm gonna have a base level or basic move your level one that is where you can start if you are newer postpartum or just getting back into exercise let's do some little reaches across or if you know that you have diastasis recti which is ab separation if you don't know, I have a couple videos uh, that will show you how to check and some videos on some exercises. It's very common during pregnancy. I will link them right here, so be sure to check them out. But if you know that you have it or you aren't sure or something feels like too much, please just stay with that level one move. You're still gonna get a workout, I promise. As we progress to those level two and level three moves, let's bring our knees up. That's where we're gonna get a little more endurance, so a little more heart rate and a little more of the advanced version. So you just be where you are. If you're further along in your postpartum period, a little bit higher fitness level and you know you don't have ab separation, then you can progress with me. But you be where you are today. Do not worry if you stay with level one. That's why we have options because everybody's on their own journey. Some of us have had some injuries. Some of us feel it a lot in our joints and some of them, some of us are just newer in our journeys. So you be where you are today. Thank you for showing up. If you showed up, you are successful today. Okay, so just a little twist, but I want you to turn your whole body. So we're not twisting in the torso, just taking it here, breathe. And then I want you just to do some arm circles as we do some little taps and then to the back. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna start with a lower body move and I'll give you a couple of options. The third one will be a little more advanced and get your heart pumping. Just do some heel taps in the center. In between our right and our left for those first ones, we're gonna do some little pulsing upper body moves. They're gonna feel easy at first, but they're very isolated, almost like bar type moves. So you'll feel it. Then we'll take it down to the mat. I'll give you a few options for some things for upper body and core and then back up and do it all again, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through it. You don't have to think at all. When in doubt, just tap it out. We're gonna have some times to get water, but you do what's best for you if you need a sip of water. Take it if you need to hit pause and take a break. That's all totally fine. Again, I'm just gonna say it again. If you showed up, you're successful. All right, so we're gonna start with a little side lunge. We're going this way. We're just gonna lean into it. So watch me here, here's your base level. So straight leg, get a little stretch, bent leg, lean into that hip. Looks like this, we're here, side and up. That's your level one. Level two, I want you to step into it, take it back. Step into it, take it back. If you don't feel steady with that, keep with that level one where you're just leaning into that hip. Level two, level three, watch me. Take it down, reach it up low to the ground. You're still getting the hips down. You're not cheating it like a cardio move, even though it is cardio. Drop the hips, still get low. Down and up. We got about 15 seconds. And then we're gonna do some of those isolations. And breathe. And up. There we go. Last three, two, one. Watch me here. Squeeze in for chest, squeeze out for back. In for chest, out for back. Let's put one foot forward to keep our back in place so we don't end up arching our back. Squeeze and here. So you can have hands out here or if it helps you feel it a little bit more, you can clench those fists. Squeeze.
squeeze. So think of it as a chest fly, elbows together and shoulder blades together. Elbows together, shoulder blades, elbows, shoulder blades. One more, take them to the front. Watch me, pulse those elbows. Right now we feel it, even though it's a really small movement, we're feeling it. Four, three, pulse the shoulder blades, squeeze. Looks like this, shoulder blades in. Four, three, two, relax them down, other side. So here's your level one, lean into it here. Your feet stay in place, straight leg on this leg, bend it here, drive the hips to the back, watch me. Hips go back, so this becomes that squat motion. Level two, step into it, step it back, lean and back. Level three, touch it down, bring it up, touch it down, bring it up, up, lean. So either way, it's not this guys, you're not going down in your back, we're getting down in our hips. So here, drop the hips to get those hands down. Totally fine, you can stay with level one, just lean and back. Level two, Woo, level two, just step into it. 10 seconds, level three, breathe. Last two, one more. All right, here we go. Squeeze it in, squeeze it out. In, out, chest, back, and breathe. So really important to work these opposing muscles nice and tight this is both an active recovery while we rest our heart rate rest our legs and then you can tell we're feeling those arms and back who says you need weights last two one more bring those elbows in pulses elbows together squeeze four three two pulses back Pulse, shoulder blades, pull them in to the back. Four, three, two, shake it out, roll them through. All right, one more time with those legs, we're gonna alternate. So you're level one, you're just side to side. Right and left, lean into it. Level two, step into it. Down, step through. Together. Side lunge, level three down and reach. Remember, we're dropping in the hips. You pick where you want to be. We're strengthening our legs and those hips and outer thighs, but we're also getting that heart pumping for cardio. Strengthen cardio. Then we get a little break on the mat and breathe. Remember, you can be just side to side. That feels good for you. Or step through, staying upright or all the way down. Breathe. Heart should be pumping. We got 10 seconds. Here we go. Four, three, lean deep, two, one more, and tap it out. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We are going to go down to the mat. So going down to the mat, come down on your knees. So if you're in the newer postpartum period or you have diastasis recti. I want you to stay on all fours, but here's the really important part. I want you to feel super strong in your core and also sit a little back into your hips. So our normal all fours is here. I want you to kind of drop your hips back just a little bit so that way we don't have too much pressure on that core. If that feels like too much, I want you to take exactly what we're doing to the wall, especially if you feel, a lot of times with diastasis recti people feel like everything's hanging down or they can't stay in and be supported. Take it to the wall, I'll give you that option. So we're either here, hips back. We're gonna go down, down, up, up, switch your arms. Left, right, left, right. Level two, down, down, up, up. You're really on your knees like that knee push up. Level three, we're here. Down, down, up, up. So you decide where you wanna be and if you still don't feel supported, take it to the wall. Watch me here. Down, down, up, up. You can do the same thing. 
breathe side to side. It's up to you, up, up, down, down, and then switch your lead arm. You be where you are today, if that's knees, if that's toes, certainly if you have diastasis recti or you're still recovering that core, I want you to stay back here and just focus on your arms doing the work or take it to the wall. If you're a little bit further along, you can take it up to here. We got 10 seconds. You're strong, you got this. Yes, mama. Last one. Each way. And relax. Stretch it back, right? Ooh, right. Okay, so we're gonna take it to a plank. I'm gonna give you two, three options. Level one, I want you to do that plank on the wall. So you've got your elbows on the wall and you're here. You're just walking your feet back. Let me see if I can show you here. So you're here, just about to here. And then we're going to tap our knees one at a time. So that's your level one. Your level two, I want you to be here if you know you don't have diastasis recti. And I want you to lift up on the knees, lift up on the toes, down and down. Actually, level two, just lift up on the knees. And then level three, up, up, down, down. So any of those options. What I want you to think about is that the movement is coming from that breath, inhale, exhale, pull everything up, keep coming up if you can, down and down, inhale, exhale up, you can be just here, you're still gonna feel it, I promise. And breathe, we're on that wall, we're just doing alternating knees. Breathe, breathe, up to you, wherever you are. Let's finish 10 seconds. Inhale, exhale, pull it up, all the way up if you can. Really important, if you have diastasis recti or you think you do, I want you to stay on the wall. And breathe. Last one right here. And relax, stretch it back. Woo! Those are tough, right? So that was a lot of core, a lot of upper body. Let's take it back up. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. Remember, hydration is so important for everybody, but especially in that postpartum period, our bodies are still working to recovery. And especially if you are nursing, if you're breastfeeding, you really gotta hydrate and get those electrolytes. Okay, so we're starting here. Put one foot forward. I want you to stand by the wall if you can, or a countertop, or back of the couch, chair something so you have that option for balance. I want you to start here and watch me first for your low one. You're just tapping back with a slight bend in the front knee and here. So it's a little modified half lunge, just here to here. Level two, I want you to take it all the way down, bring it up. You can still have balance if you want. And level three, bring that knee up or little jump, it's up to you. We're gonna do that first side, and then we're gonna take some curls some curls and out for our um, arm isolations in between. Here we go. So level one, just tap it back, push you that front heel, tap it back. So this is a great way to modify those lunges if you feel too much in your knees. If you can, drop it down, bring it up. I know a lot of times people have a hard time with lunges because of that back knee. You can always keep the work in that front leg. Level three, drive that knee up or jump it, it's up to you, breathe, Whew. right, <laughs> down and up, Whew. or here, Whew. or here, small little taps, any of those options, level one, level two, level three, you got 15 seconds, finish it out, I know it's burning, Whew. breathe, four, Three, two, one. Relax, shake it out, watch me. Up, out, in, and down. So bicep curls, squeeze for your back. Again, one foot forward. Breathe, maybe that leg that was just forward. So arms and back. Again, this is so we catch our breath in between that leg work, but also so we get those small isolations 
Bring it all the way up. Here we go. Four. Three. I know they feel kind of silly, like we need weights. Trust me, you're gonna feel it. And here, little pulses. Pulse towards your shoulders. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Halfway down, pulse in your back. Same muscles as we did. Four, three, two. Switch it other side. Here we go. Tap it back. Level one. In that lunge position. Level one. Little tap or two. Drop it down. We're gonna switch up our second set of arm isolations with a little bit of triceps. We did biceps and back. Now we'll do triceps and back. Level three, bring it up with that knee. Keep it controlled or a little jump and breathe. There we go. You pick your option. Level one, little tap, but that front leg is a little bend doing the work. Level two, drop it down. Any of these options, you can have the wall for balance. Down, bring it up, and breathe. 15 seconds. Whenever I'm facing away from my clock, sometimes I start to think, it's gotta be time, right? Breathe, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, watch me, up, in, and down. Push from the side, squeeze. Push back like you're pushing to the ceiling, up. So it's not biceps here, it's push up, squeeze in. Up, squeeze in, up, squeeze. Pushing my hands to the back, then pushing them together behind my back. Three more like this, three, two, one more. Watch me here, flat hands, push, push up to the ceiling, towards the back, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Watch me here, thumbs together, pulse. Back of the arms and your back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shake them out, find your balance, alternate. So just like we did with those side lunges, you're alternating right and left. You can still use that balance. Level one, level two, breathe. Level three, jump it. This is advanced. So for a lot of us in the postpartum period, even me, and I'm several months postpartum with my second, that's too much. So I'm just gonna alternate with the lunges. Totally fine to be level one where you just bend that front leg, tap it back, breathe, all the way down, or if you're feeling it, yep, here we go, four, three, two, one, shake it out, catch your breath, grab a sip of water, we are taking it down. Woo to the mat, right? Hmm. Nice work, team. All right, so catch your breath. Breathe. We've got one upper body, one core. So watch me here. Level one on the wall. Again, if you know you have diastasis recti or you're newer postpartum, still heal, heal, healing your core, take it to the wall. Watch me. I'm going out, push up, bring them in really close. Push up, looks like this. Out, push up, bring them in. Elbows are in super close so we get back of the arms on the wall. Out, push up, bring them in, push up. Keep that core in tight the entire time. And if you're on the wall, you're really only moving back just a little bit to keep that core engaged, but not where we're putting pressure. So stay there. If you want, you can also be in those all fours, out, Push, bring it in. Remember our weight is back in our hips. Or on the knees or all the, on the hands. Out, push it up. This one's hard, Woo! even if you get something small. Out, make sure that core 
is engaged. Out. Totally fine to be on the wall too if it's bothering your wrist. I know sometimes a lot of us, especially if we haven't done this for a while, or sometimes we can get some carpal tunnel from breastfeeding or holding our babies. So just keep it on the wall or keep it on those knees. Core is engaged. Here we go. Out. Bring it in. Take it out. Bring it in. Take it out. Four. Three. Two. One more. And stretch it back, right? Ooh, right? We feel that one, right? Ha! Okay. So go ahead and take it down on to your side. We're gonna come into a side plank and we're going to lift it up and just bring that knee into your chest and down, into your chest and down. So we're holding that side plank. If that feels like too much, you can say all of this is safe for diastasis recti, but you're not crunching. You're just bringing the knee up and down. If you want all the way up, eight, seven, it's small, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, leave it here, clamshell, open it up. So this, you can be on your elbow or all the way down, up and down. Or if you're feeling good about it, lift those knees up. Breathe, this is more advanced. If you have diastasis recti, or you're newer, stay down here. If you can, put them here. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Roll it up from your side. Roll yourself down onto that other side, starting with that side plank. So we're here. Lift it up into that side plank. Nice and secure. Knee to your chest. Bring it in. So again, we're not flexing, extending. We're just lifting to engage that core. We can be here too. We're all the way up. And breathe. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. I'm sweating. I don't know about you. Five, four, three, two. Drop it down, clamshell. Open it up so you can be here or all the way down. Rest your head. Gotta move my mic pack. If you want a little more advanced, lift those knees. Breathe. Let's go four more wherever you are. Four, three, two, one, and relax. So bring it up, stretch it over both sides. We got one more thing up top for a little bit of legs and cardio. And then we are taking it down to the mat. Woo! Water if you need it, I'm sweating. All right, so here we go. Join me here, basic level, level one, plie squat. Core is in tight, pull everything up and in. So think about that pelvic floor, gentle lift. So not squeezing super tight, just pull up and in as we pull that deep core in. Level two, slide it in. Heels together, inner thighs, down. Squeeze, down. There we go. Breathe. Let's just keep it with one and two. push right here. Everything's in tight. Little pulses. If you want a little extra cardio, little baby jump or pulse. Burn in here, burn in here. Pull that core in tight. This is your last little push. Get that heart pumping wherever you are. Then everything else is on the mat. You did it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. 
relax. Whew. So tap that out, shake it out, grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna go down on the mat, which has got a couple little upper body and core things, and then we are done. Grab some water, keep those feet tapping. And then let's take it down onto the mat. Okay, so we are down on the mat. We've just got a few things to go. So we're gonna go ahead and come to a seated position. So take those legs out in front, however is most comfortable, and bring your hands in right here. So it's really important, wanna make sure that we feel supported in our core. If we see, if we see any coning or doming that we talk about with diastasis recti, or you don't feel comfortable, I want you to bring your feet up to here. If you can, take them out to here. So here is your basic level. We're just going to start low here, and then just extend up, open up that chest, hold it here, and then drop it down. So it's just like a little mini triceps. I want your arms to do the work. So keep that core engaged. Think about that belly breathing, core and tight, down and up. So if you want, then we're gonna take it, lifting it up here. Take it down, lift everything up. So you can do that same move with your knees bent if that feels a little better. I want you to try to be straight leg, lift it here. So again, those are your first two options, just pushing up and through, strong in the core, arms are doing the work, or taking it down, lift the hips, use the arms, lift the hips. One more option, add a leg lift, a little bit of core, down. Add a leg lift. That's hard for me, but you can do it. Up, but if you want to stay with those first two options, option one or option two, that's fine too. Down and up. Breathe. Down. Two more. Last one. And relax, right? Arms are tired. Stretch that forward. Whew. All right. Breathe from there. Let's take it over onto our side. So we're here into a side plank. I'm gonna start on my knees. That's gonna be your first level, level one. Hand up, let's lift it up, hold it here, breathe, and then drop it down. Lift it up, hold, and drop it down. Level two, you're up on those feet. Up, hold, and drop it down up, hold, last one we're going to add a little leg lift, up, lift, and down, so any of those options will do, you just be where you are, if you have diastasis recti, or you're new or postpartum, stay with that first level, breathe, up, yes, let's go last four, four, Breathe, three, this is fine, two, our knees, two, one more, breathe, and relax. Bring it up on that arm, stretch it over, nice work. Swing those legs around to that other side. Starting here, everybody start with basic just to get a feel for where you are. Up, hold, focus on that breathing, deep core in and down, up and hold, and down. If you're feeling a lot of pressure in the shoulder, make sure you're not out here. Elbows should be directly below the shoulders. Up on the feet if you want. Up, hold, and down, up, hold, and then last level, take it up, leg lift, little outer thighs, right? Up, leg lift, here we go. You pick your level. Breathe, this hand can be here, or up if you're feeling good about it. One side is usually harder than the other. That's okay, remember if you're diastasis recti or newer postpartum, stay here and breathe. Two more, up, hold, last one. And relax, bring it over here. Stretch that over, Woo. right? Catch your breath, yep, exactly. 
and then let's take it down onto our back. Two more things and we are done. So go down onto your side, roll onto your back, and we're going to start with a little bit of core. So watch me, focus on that belly breathing to start, drop one knee to the side, exhale, bring the knee to the chest. Keep the feet on the ground to start. Drop one knee, inhale, exhale, deep core in, knee to chest. One more time with your basic level, level one. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale, exhale. So your level two, take it up to here. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, exhale. If you have diastasis recti, stay with that first one. Breathe. And then last level, both knees down, bring it in, both knees a little lift. Make sure that you don't have any, what we call intra-abdominal pressure. If you don't see any coning or doming or feel like that's too much pressure, down before you go to this level. Breathe, down, little lift. If you want, you can stay with that mid-level. Bring it in. Bring it in or down to the ground. Down, drop, little tap. Down, drop. Here we go. Four. Three more. Three. Any of those options. You do you. Two. One more. And relax. Hug those knees in. Gentle roll side to side. Let's take it here. We're going to roll up into that bridge. So start with that deep TA breath. Exhale. Roll everything up and then take it all the way down. So this is your base level here. This one, pretty much everyone can do. We're just gonna give you some options at the top. So you're just starting here, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. So you can stay at that base level and just keep working through your breathing or take it up to here and we're gonna drop it down and up squeeze those knees in and out down and up keep that core in tight squeeze and out you're probably okay to be here if that feels okay for you it's diastasis recti safe we're getting inner outer so drop the hips pull the core and glutes up squeeze inner squeeze out back to neutral drop the hips pull the core and hips up in out two more drop pull it up in last one drop let's hold it here in and out squeeze inner thighs outer thighs keep that core in keep the hips lifted in the glutes breathe here we go four three two one and relax hug those knees and breathe roll side to side Let's do one last little bonus core move. Take them down, watch me, here's your level one. It's that dead bug. We're gonna start with our feet on the ground. So opposite arm, opposite leg. Think of it as that little leg slide. Opposite arm, opposite leg. <sighs> dead bug is such a good exercise because we're not doing any final spinal flexion or extension. So really great to work that deep core, even when we're getting back into it after having a baby or if we have back pain. If you can, take it up to here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, everything in. Well, think of this as a little bit of a stretch, part of our cool down, even though it's a very challenging core move. You can keep those feet down, make it a leg slide if you want, or take it here, down up breathe four more than we're done four and up 
three, belly breathing, two, one more. Hug those knees in, very gentle roll, side to side, you did it. Go ahead and very gently roll to your side, push yourself up onto the side, let's get a quick little stretch. So if you can take those feet out in front, they can be further apart, they can be out in front. A few deep breaths and then just stretch over. I know we're all pretty tight in here, but especially after having babies. One more. Just to here. Mostly focus on letting your head and neck relax into it. Pull your toes towards you. Don't worry too much about hunching over. I don't want you to put too much pressure on the abs, but just getting that stretch. Let's bring the knees in. Take them out from here. And breathe, sort of just, they can be out in front, gentle press out on the knees. Again, let the shoulders drop forward. And then seated position, just a couple big rolls through those shoulders. Reach those hands to the back. And take them to the front, to your chest. And up top, as always, get more of a stretch and a cool down on your own. Over to the side. And other side. One big deep breath in. And out. And that was your postnatal no equipment total body workout. If you like this, make sure that you check out all of my other postnatal workouts and be sure to subscribe. Great job, everybody.